LaRange is the hub of Saskatchewan's north, a small town with long winters and vast lakes, struggling with the challenges of isolation and the diseases that come with it, including scurvy. Susan, do you want to get tea? At the food bank, volunteers deliver hampers to 50 families each week. They're seeing a growing number of people struggling to put food on the table. Most weeks we will fill up what we can do and then have to turn people away. Food insecurity is so dire, doctors at this clinic started noticing symptoms of the centuries-old disease. They later diagnosed 27 cases of scurvy. So rare today, single cases are often the focus of entire studies. Vitamin C is just sort of a, a canary in the coal mine, if you will, in terms of what else people might be uh, nutrient deficient in. The cases have people pointing to high grocery prices. At stores like this one, high transport costs mean fresh fruits and vegetables are often limited and more expensive. And for many, that's putting healthy food increasingly out of reach. It's crazy. You only got one grocery store, one large grocery store. So I mean, what do you do? I took this picture myself here. Butterball turkey, 21 pounds, $168. $168 for yeah. A turkey. Yeah. Jordan McPhail represents Northwest Saskatchewan in the provincial legislature. He's hearing from people struggling to afford healthy food, especially in the most remote communities. Families are making impossible decisions. They're trying to feed their families as most nutritious diet as they can, but they're not able to get the fresh produce. And actual vitamin C tablets. The easiest treatment, says Irvin, is these low-cost vitamins. But the scurvy cases highlight the need for sustainable solutions, like harvesting traditional foods high in nutrients. I think the answer is really like, what, what, does, what does the community value and what does the community want to see on their plate? A challenge Spring expects will grow as climate change could further impact northern foods. Alexander Silberman, CBC News, LaRange, Saskatchewan.